Welcome to this Fearless Fundamentals video. Uh, we've got Natalie back again, and uh, it's awesome to always have her here. I'm, I'm loving having her in the videos because you guys really can see a lot more and uh, you, you can pick up a lot more by having her here rather than me just talking about this stuff by myself. Today, we wanna to talk about the touch aspect of embodiment. Touch is so powerful, it's so important, and so many guys get it wrong. Back in the early days when I was first learning this stuff, and I wasn't really learning this, I was learning basic stuff like just go out and do X, Y, and Z. And I'd run out to bars every night and I'd talk to different people and different girls. One of the challenges we had was, and this, this always still today makes guys really uncomfortable, was can you get a girl to hold your hand within three seconds of approaching? And you can do it. It's actually kind of interesting. And we would work at it. And, and the whole goal was you'd come in so comfortable and so quick and bump in and so attractive when the, and everybody's dancing and partying and you're having a good time and all the noise and the lights are going, you'd slide up and you just do that really quick. And what you'll find is you don't keep holding it, you let it go right away, is that and what we found was that the girls that were liking you when you walked up, that were really attracted to you, or like, oh, this guy's interesting. And you did that and you bumped into the crowd and you wouldn't even let her friends see sometimes. You just do something like that and walk back. She'll typically uh, do something like squeeze your hand back mm -hmm. or she'll give you some sensual touch, something like that. The girls that don't, their hands might, they might hold your hand, but they might just get a little cold or stiff or pull mm -hmm. back a little bit. And so that was a really powerful challenge. What I learned from doing that, because I would be talking to a lot of girls and, and we would do that with a girl, uh, a woman, let's say, and I would do that. And then the woman would say something like, and this happened on rare occasions, she'd say something, oh, that guy over there is really creepy. And I go, why? She says, oh, he's so touchy. And I might have just touched her, held her hand, and I'd be like, I'm touching you. And she goes, oh, you're, you don't count. He, it's, okay. it's, it's the way he touches or something about his touch. And what was going on there was really interesting. And I wanna ask if, if you run into this. Yeah. Is his touch was so creepy because he was so disembodied or needy or wanting that's what they were really saying. They yeah. weren't saying, I don't like touch. They were saying, I don't like bad touch, okay? Um, what would you say to that? Yeah, definitely. I can I can tell when a guy is like wanting too much or he's feeling uncomfortable even, but he's just forcing himself to do it. Yeah, there needs to be like a grounding there and there, it needs to feel like more genuine and just natural for it to not feel so creepy. Yeah, Yeah. and that's, that's everything. So touch has qualities to it. And we're going to go through some of these qualities. If I am, and I'm holding your hand right now, right? If I'm holding your hand and I am a needy guy, one of the things I see you guys do all the time is you start doing this. You mm -hmm. tighten the hand a little bit and you pull and you're like trying to pull her towards you. And mm -hmm. how did, what does that automatically make you want to do? Makes me want to go the opposite way. <laughs> right, right, right. And so if a guy comes up and does that, that it doesn't work. The other one we see, I think, were you the one that brought this up in the class earlier today? I think so. The little, yes. the little yes, like, I'm, I'm a, kind of scared to touch. Yeah. You know, what is that like? Can you, yeah. you demonstrated that one. Yeah, do that, do like, that one to me. This is grabbiness to it. Do you see it? And then, and then, so see, he's afraid to hold. And, and then, then my hand doesn't feel like supported at all like there's no support there's no like comfort there's no masculine in it. it yeah it's just like i'm just being like touched in a weird way and so what do you need and you immediately want to pull away right? yeah because who wants to be touched in a weird way right? yeah okay okay so uh i'm going to demonstrate a couple other things and i don't know if these will come across on video i hope they do but i've seen this a lot even with girls i've dated in the past where they get needy in their touch this is a big one with women they'll get needy in their touch but you guys do too and so they'll hold hands with me and then suddenly they start doing this. And I, and I want to see if she can feel it. And there's that energy. What do you feel in that? It's very subtle. Wow. I felt that though. There's tension. There's tension. And which direction is the tension pulling? It's a subtle tension. Which direction is it towards me? Yeah. So I, but what it's really subtle. It's very subtle. And what happens after five, 10 minutes of holding hands or cuddling and you're constantly pulling towards you, it feels like this consistent low hum of a one thing from the other person. Mm -hmm. Like, give me validation, make me feel good. I need more attention from you. Yeah. And that makes the other person after a while be like, I don't even want to hold your hand anymore. Yeah, it's almost like draining. Yeah. It's draining. Yeah. And that's, that's another really important aspect of touch. So another one that I see a lot of is, is this. Then I'm going to do, uh, do something slightly different. And it's very subtle too. Again, the, the first two were obvious. This is the same basic idea as the first two, but I'm doing what now? What do you feel now? Um, is it, are you pulling up? 
a little, a bit? little bit and also uh do you, feel, emotionally do you feel anything i feel tension yeah does it feel comfortable heavier or lighter than what i was doing earlier feels heavier yeah so if it's heavier we're going in the wrong direction so what i'm doing right now is i'm uh, again the other one, I'm wanting energy. I'm trying to get energy this way. This way, I'm trying to get into her space. And so that's what she's feeling is pulling up is my mm -hmm. body wanting to move towards her, mm -hmm. constantly wanting to get into her space. Okay, yeah. Okay? The problem isn't even wanting to be in her space. The problem is the attachment to it, the have to. I have to get your attention. I have to get your validation. So if I'm touching her, and the first step is I just relax, and I enjoy my hand. If I can enjoy my hand, then I can let that enjoyment translate to her and I can, then I can relax down. Now this is important. I relax down one of my legs. I relax into my back so that she can feel me grounding myself. The more I can ground myself and then invite her into that energy, the better the touch becomes for her. And how much stress does this remove from your body? So much. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's much nicer than before. I would date. I remember one girl I dated many years ago and she would come over, a heck, she was hectic, and she was a hectic mess. Not a mess, she wasn't a hectic mess, she was stressed. She had a lot going on in her plate, school, all these different things. And her eyes would be crazy when she came in. I would hold her for a little bit, and within no time, the eyes would just surrender, and she would just turn into like a, a jello because she's so stressed out, she needed to get her body to relax. And I would do it by doing this. Okay, another one. This is really important. So we're gonna jump to the other end. Okay, if I give her a hug, this is another one I see you guys do, you go to give hugs, and you try to get into the girl's reality. And it's like this, you're trying to, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And there's a sense of me trying to get into her body, which is what you guys all want again, we talked about that. <laughs> okay, now, if I come in and I relax into my spine and let her melt into me, let's see if we can do this really well. Okay. And then I just receive, this is how I practice it. You find somebody to practice with and you just receive that person in and you let that person sink into you. If she's feminine, she's gonna enjoy the support. Does that make sense to you guys? What was the difference? Did you feel the difference? I did, yeah. Well, what was that difference for you? Felt like our, our energy was colliding. It didn't feel like yours was trying to like push on me. Yeah, so the, literally what I'm doing is I'm standing in my own spine, I'm opening in the chest and the stomach, relaxing, and then letting her melt into me. Uh, we saw a client, and I was showing. I just show you that picture earlier today of Nikki and. Uh, and I Raymond. did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the same exact thing. One of our models was on the back of Raymond, and so Raymond was, you know, how do you do it to me? Was sitting there like this, and he was watching us give instruction, and he was grounding while she, while she was just melting into him and enjoying his grounding. And what that did is it allowed her to relax into her feminine while he relaxed into his masculine, and they both got energy from that, and it's very enjoyable. Okay. How does that feel for you? Feels nice. Yeah, it's very relaxed. And the funny part is her energy, her feminine energy is perfectly matched to charge me up through my masculine. And my masculine is perfectly matched to charge her up through her feminine if we are comfortable with them. If you're comfortable with your masculine, she's comfortable with her feminine. Okay, so how do you begin to change your touch? It's very simple, actually. It's learning to enjoy your own body. If I can't enjoy my touch, my hand, my forearm, my any part of my body and i'm tense i'm anxious i'm nervous and i touch her with it she's probably going to feel uncomfortable but as soon as i start developing a relationship let's say I, I start let's say i just give myself a massage and i start relaxing into and feeling this parts of my body and i start to enjoy the feeling in my hands i start to enjoy the, the touch i can relax myself then i go to touch her with it and i'm enjoying myself then she can feel me enjoying myself and she can relax into it if I'm more focused on getting something from her and I'm not gonna enjoy my own touch, my own sensitivity, the own sensitivity in my own hands, and then I, until I get her in my life, I'm like, I'm gonna feel good when I'm holding her hand. Now I'm out of alignment. Now it's not gonna work, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's the key. Am I happy without her and then inviting her into my reality or do I need her to be happy? And uh, do you want to comment on that? How important is that to you? Yeah, that's super important. Okay. You need to be the number number one. Yeah. yeah. See what she just said there? You need to be the number one and then, and then invite you into my reality. Yeah. And why is that so important to you? Because you aren't available for a relationship if you need that person. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Anything else? You want that person to compliment your life. You don't want 
to depend on that person. And no one wants to be dependent on that much. Of course, you depend on each other in healthy, normal ways. But yeah, you need to like be happy on your own first because then that invites me in, goes, oh, you're happy. Well, I'm happy too. We can be happy together. <laughs> there you go. Two happy people make something awesome. Two yeah. miserable people make something a whole lot worse than mm -hmm. miserable. And, and so just remember that. So as I begin to enjoy my own body, and if you can't enjoy your own body, go out and learn to get massages, massage yourself. Uh, what is it like to even right now to hug yourself? Can you, when you hug, when you do this, are you anxious and nervous? Or can you actually relax and touch yourself and, and find it sensual and enjoyable? And then when I can enjoy my own body and it feels really good and it's sensual, then I can touch her with that same energy and it comes across. Okay? Wow, that's really cool. That's a cool way to look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's took me a while to figure that out. Like, one. how do you feel when you touch your own body? That's huge. Yeah. 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 And so many people, I watch them in class, they mm -hmm. can't enjoy their body. They're just nervous wrecks. Right, and they, right. They, they're actually trying to calm their body down yeah. because it's so anxious. Yeah. Yeah. As we put all this together, the, the thing with touch is, is we, we covered the hand holding. We covered the hugging, we covered enjoying your touch. Then you wanna start learning to touch all the time. And a normal, confident guy touches a lot. A normal, confident woman can touch a lot. I've seen women touch me a lot, just in natural conversation. How do, how do you start touching a lot? Well, it's simple. If you're, especially if you're in a bar or a loud setting, it's much more normal to touch a lot because of the noise. Uh, I might have to lean in and I'll just touch gently on the elbow, okay? Uh, you might get close to somebody and bump into them and have a conversation, put your arm around them a little bit and whisper in their ear. Um, you might crack a joke, you might tease her a little bit. Oh, you look like trouble. And then you <laughs> tap her on the arm a little bit, right? Or you look like trouble, look at you. And then that kind of thing. And, uh, and you play a little bit, you have fun a little bit. Um, and so I want you to start thinking about ways you can touch from now on. Um, it could be as simple as, is, and I've done this when I was beginning and I was really nervous. If a girl had a ring on, I'd ask her about her ring. Oh, let me see your ring. Just so I could feel, she could feel that I'm, because I knew I had good hands. I was very relaxed in my hands. I took, that was another thing I did. I took massage classes and that really helped me to get comfortable with touch. And then, so I knew if I touched for a minute, she'd be like, oh, he's got a good touch. Mm -hmm. And I would do that. And so all these different ways of becoming, making touch habitual become really, uh, really important as you move things forward. I'm gonna end this on one note. A lot of guys go out on a date, and tell me if this is true, and they okay. stay completely away from the girl all night. I don't, wanna, mm -hmm. I don't wanna make her think I'm a creep. Right, right, yeah. And all night long, they got, oh, okay, how you doing? They don't touch at all. And then at the end of the night, they want to get a kiss and it seems really awkward. Mm -hmm. Is that not true? Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, you're, you're missing the opportunity to connect through touch, which isn't always a bad thing. It's not a bad thing it's to connect through touch. It's just about the way that you do it. Yeah. Yeah. And women want to be touched. They just want to be touched by somebody that knows how to touch well. Okay. Just like we do. We all need touch. Now, with that said, um, so this will work. We're going to try this. Okay. So if I take your hands, and this is just a, an exercise, I want you guys to see this. If I relax with her and ground her, and I start to move in and out a little bit, I'm just going to step back. And what I'm going to do is maintain sensuality in this hand. This is me enjoying my own hand and then enjoying her hand through it. And so what I'm going to do is us here, I'm grounding it down. Here I'm touching her forearm, more sensitive part. And I'm grounding through here. I'm maintaining connection. I can look away and do it. I can come over here and do it. As I step over here, there's still an energy between us. I'm hoping this comes across on camera. There's a nice sensual energy. It's very sensitive. And all I'm doing is keeping my sensual energy and my grounding high so she can feel me enjoying myself and then her sensual energy will amplify mine and we will enjoy each other together. And it's very simple in the end. It's actually so simple, it's elusive, right? And, and so that's where like sometimes even not looking can amplify it because you take away vision and you can actually feel more sometimes. So I'll look away, I'll look down, I'll go down into my body, I'll feel the front of my body and then step back out and then you can let it breathe. You know, just let it be here, let the distance have a little conversation. 
That's really important too. That is because I'm comfortable feeling my whole body. And as I enjoy my whole body, I give her permission to enjoy hers. Anything there? That's spot on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Um, so with that said, is there anything else you want to say about touch at all before we end the call? Nothing comes to mind. No. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So with that said, um, I want to thank you for being part of the video. It was awesome to have you. Make sure to comment. These comments are very important to us. We respond to all of them as many as we can. Make sure to subscribe to the video. Make sure to actually hit that bell notification. Make sure to like and make sure to share. It helps us to grow the channel. As we grow the channel, we can bring you even more content. I'm trying to get more and more great content on this video. I'm hoping to have Natalie back soon. We'll do another yes. video at some point. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd like to do a webinar with you, a live one where we have people come on and chat. Oh, cool. That be fun. Thank you, Natalie. Yes, of course. Of Thank and, you. Um, with that said, remember only the confident really live. See you in the next video.